Hey y'all, we're gonna continue down this thread talking about toxins. Not because I'm trying to scare everybody, but because I want you to be an educated consumer when you go out in the marketplace. Take those bottles and take those boxes and flip them over and read the labels and know what it is that you're buying and bringing home. Know what it is that you're putting on your skin. Know what it is that you're putting on your children's skin. Let's learn to do better with the things that we're buying. So today I wanna to talk about petrolatum, which as I'm sure you're hearing the word petroleum or petroleum in that word. And we are all very, very familiar with this and we have probably been taught by our parents' generation that these petroleum products are really wonderful. We've got Vaseline, we've got mineral oil, we've got lip balms and Carmex and all of these different wonderful petroleum-based products that we have been taught are good for our skin and then are good for skin moisture and all these different things. And truthfully, that's not true. <laughs> Nothing could be further from the truth. Um, what actually happens when you're dealing with a petroleum-based product or petrolatum is that you're training your skin to not moisturize its own self, okay? So it actually acts as like a barrier over your skin. You know that your skin is your number one organ, that's your filtration, not your filtration system, it's your barrier to stop the outside world from getting in, as well as the inside world from coming out. But that's a whole different, that's like a horror movie. All right, but the outside world going in, that's all of the chemicals and all of the, um, everything. Everything that we are exposed to on a daily basis, we want to keep it out of our, inside of our body because everything that's functioning in here needs to be very clean and pristine and not be tampered with by the outside world. But then we go and we put these chemicals, we lather them on our skin because the Food and Drug Administration, sadly, um, has not stepped forward to, <sighs> there maintains a belief system that things that go on the skin stay on the skin outside of the body. And what science has actually shown is that is very, very far from the truth. Anything you put on the skin penetrates through the skin. The skin is this breathable thing that interacts. That's why burn victims have a lifetime of suffering because they've lost that porousness in their skin. The cells are not able to execute that exchange with the outside world, the oxygen exchange. There's not that breathing that happening. So they are in for lifetimes of surgeries and skin grafts because the, the healing over part of, of where it's been burned is not able to do what the skin is, is designed to do. And when that skin is not functioning properly, it's the largest organ of our body, it's going to have major repercussions. So when we take petroleum and we lather it all over our skin, we are almost in essence creating conditions similar to burn victims who have this skin that is not functioning properly. It becomes a harmful barrier. It does not allow moisture in. So of course it seems like it's a moisture barrier because it's locking moisture inside our body, but it's also not allowing natural moisture to come in. Um, it doesn't allow any breathability to go out. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of like taking saran wrap and wrapping your whole entire body in it, this like liquid form of saran wrap. You know that that can't possibly be good for you. Your skin cannot breathe. It inhibits cellular respiration. It inhibits the transfer of oxygen. Um, it causes the cells to die, to prematurely age. Oxygen is the source of life. So the more you're putting these petrolatum products on your skin in the name of beauty, the more you're actually damaging the cells on the skin and causing them to prematurely age. So then what do we do? We get into this vicious cycle where we're putting more stuff on our skin, it's causing faster aging, so we put more stuff on our skin to stop the faster aging, which we're actually causing by the stuff we're putting on our skin, and it just keeps going like that. Um, but more than just the premature aging in skin, and that's just the outside uh, telltale sign of the damage, Columbia University has actually found that petrolatums are found in breast tumors 2.6 times more than any other product. So it's not just aging your skin, it's actually causing disease and dis-ease. Uh, it increases photosensitivity, I'm sure you guys know that there's that scene, I think in like, there's something about Mary where that you know older woman is just like lathered in Crisco and she's just frying like bacon out in the sun. So it's gonna increase your photosensitivity, which of course is gonna increase your sun damage. 
Those are things that I think this generation probably already knows, but they don't know what's happening at the cellular level when these petrolatums are being absorbed into the body. And they may not know, or you may not know and understand how important it is for your skin to be engaged with the world outside. I don't want you to think of the skin as just a barrier that keeps things separate. It's really more of a membrane that is constantly passing things back and forth. It's filtering the outside world and it's filtering the inside world, but there is an exchange that is happening in the skin and your skin is very vulnerable to solvents and petrochemicals and things like petrolatum. Um, so it's important that we keep our skin in balance, which is, oh, I've got some lovely skin. The largest organ of your body is over 20 square feet. So it's really important to keep it in balance. That's why we want to use botanicals. We want to use things that are found in nature Think about plants themselves. Think about the way that they can heal themselves. When a leaf is starting to dry around the edges, the plant kicks into overdrive, creating its own chemistry. And we're talking about natural, good botanical chemistry. And it sends those chemicals up into the leaf to help moisturize those leaves that are crisp in the sun. Or a burn spot on a leaf you will find will heal over. The plant has its own healing powers to take care of that dryness. We don't need, the last thing you would ever wanna to do to a plant that has some burn marks from the sun is lather petrolatum on it to try to induce moisture, right? We know that, that's obvious. It would burn it to a crisp. Why would we then do that to ourselves to try to induce moisture? Why would we not use a botanical that has the essence of the plant that knows how to heal itself and it has the wisdom and the innate ability to do that in and of itself, then we take the essence of that plant, we harness that, and then we apply it to our own bodies. It works the exact same way in our bodies as it does in the plant because we are made of the same organic structures. So whatever works for the plant is going to work for us. It makes perfect sense to use a product that is going to work in harmony with our skin cells, in harmony with this natural exchange that occurs in the environment, in harmony with our natural moisture content, in harmony with the way that our body works. That's why botanicals are such a big deal. Now, in order for a company to deliver botanicals to you, you're either gonna get them in the form of an essential oil, which is distilled or cold pressed straight from the plant, and if you're with a good company like Young Living, you're only getting the essence of the plant and nothing else. But when you're getting it in the form of, let's say, you know, a lotion or something like that, then of course there are going to be other chemicals in there as a delivery mechanism to make it nice and creamy. You need to be very, very careful about what those chemicals are. That is why I love Young Living. It is a 100% clean, green, toxin-free company. So I, I might be getting botanicals somewhere else, but what else is in the melee? What else is in the mix? What's the pet is there petrolatum in this product that I'm now going to be applying all over the largest organ of my body? Or do I wanna to go to Young Living where I know it's not only loaded with organic botanicals, but the carrying agent, the, the moisturizing content, right, the substance of it that makes it creamy and luxurious and wonderful is also completely cre clean and green and toxin free. See, that's where the difference comes in. So don't get fooled when you walk into the drugstore or even into you know, some, the beauty counter of some high end store and you're gonna pay an arm and a leg when it's got botanicals in it because the botanicals are not necessarily the issue. The issue is the delivery mechanism in which the botanicals are placed. Does it have petrolatum? Does it have any of these other toxins? Because that's the stuff that's going to get into your skin and damage it in the long run and even get taken into your bloodstream and do long-term cellular damage um, as it bioaccumulates in your body. So. If you want to learn more, you can go to safecosmetics.org and you can look up any of these toxins that I've been talking about and find out uh, what they are and what they do. Um, but just pay attention to what it is that you're buying. And again, I love Young Living because I know exactly what I'm getting. I know the botanicals are good and I know the delivery mechanism for the botanicals are good. I don't have to worry about putting something on my skin that's going to age my skin or cause any further damage internally down the road. So. Get yourself signed up for Young Living. Get yourself on Essential Rewards. Buy those clean products for your home and for your body and then get your oils for free.